morning guys it is officially the end of time and i am now going to oxford to go and visit a friend it is so bloody early i've not gotten up this early in a while such a cold and drizzly morning but i'm on my way to the coach station so i'm taking the coach to oxford this morning it is a long coach it's like five hours for a city that's like just a few hours away but it's the end of term and like the coach is half price from the train and it's not like i'm gonna be jobless on the coach like i do have work to do i have a book that i've got to read sleep that i want to catch up on and music to listen to so honestly i'm okay i'm just going on a longer coach right but nice views i guess and then out of the coach this coach is going to Stansted Airport and then there's like a half an hour stop there and there's another coach to Oxford so it's kind of like a two-leg journey. Quite excited because this is my only my second time on the coach and yeah, I think it's a great way of transport if you have time. <laughs> Welcome to the better city of the <laughs> city of Dreaming's first Palace. At the upper chamber, apparently, when we were sitting there, they were like, just be aware, Sheldonian is not uh, built according to uh, modern building codes. So be careful when you're uh, taking the stairs and when you're sitting because there's every chance that any small um, movement. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, it's easy to trip it's, and it's also very, very easy to like, for everything to catch a flame and things oh like that. Oh my god! Because it's so delicate, the top. Oh, that's yeah, crazy. Now we have a library that's kind of in the underground system. So the Gladstone link is like, you see the exposed plumbing and everything and that's oh like how you god. get into the world. And a bottler with yeah. That's crazy. Famously, the bottler has, uh, actually as part of our matriculation, you have to swear when you come in that um, you won't bring any live fire and you won't burn any cigarettes or anything in this room because everything's so highly flammable. Oh. And, uh, including the people. Including the people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was famously uh, uh, the library that rejected uh, Charles the First when he came to borrow a book because the librarian wasn't there and they were like, I'm sorry, but you can't get a book out. No matter where you are in the social hierarchy, oh my modern God. library precedes your monarchy. <laughs> So, yeah. Oh my god, the famous Rad, Rad, Rad Cab. Cab. Entering the zone. <laughs> Woo! Some of my family is visiting. Wow. This is really a Taj Mahal vibes. <laughs> <laughs> like walking through. Yeah, literally the archway. Where are we going, Smith? Uh, yes. So, we're going to one of the filming sets of Harry Potter. Wow. Imagine your uh, first days to be getting sorted. Then, uh, Oh, Where this looks. Dude, this actually yeah, does. <gasps> oh my god. This is one of the hallways you'd walk past. You'd be walking to defeat oh, your mortal enemy. Uh, <laughs> one duel for the first time. <laughs> um, if you exit under the dragon. Uh, so sometimes you'll be seeing random modern art. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, all of these are fossils. Like bacteriopods and bivalves. These little arch shaped ones. Nighttime stories. The dark black stone is dancing. Yeah, calcite fossil shell is yeah. used to take the viewer into a dream state for Ooh. These arches are so nice. The yeah, I feel like I can definitely, definitely yeah. see this in the Harry Potter movie. So that tree that you'll see, that's the tree that, um, where, who's, who's, who's the mad guy? Uh, Moody, Mad Moody. Moody? Moody, this is where Moody turned Draco into a ferret. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, and like Draco jumped from that tree and um, like Hermione punched him in this area. Oh my god. Some very iconic scenes happening in the new garden. There's some what, what are you doing? Wow. I just watched Love actually like a few days ago actually. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I kind of had but I don't think I watched it fully or something basically. Did you watch a Christmas movie kind Yeah. Of. <laughs> my household was telling me that it's really nice when you watched it. Oh that's the tree you're sitting on? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh cool. <laughs> oh, that's so cool, man. Examination so, schools. Yeah. Of course, to take the exams to go into the examination schools, you have to wear your full sub first. Yeah. And they don't allow you into the examination schools if you're not wearing the right kind of shoes. What the hell? And you're not allowed to take any, um, like, 
canvas bags or any like pencil boxes oh. or anything. So the tip is to take all of your pens and your pencils in your um, in mortar your... board. So in your mortar, <laughs> that's why. So when you're buying the mortar board, they have the two types of mortar boards. They have the the one with the one that's square with the cap, <laughs> and then they have the soft cap. And so the the soft cap looks so. Terrible, but the only uh, advantage of soft cap is that it can double very well as a pencil case when you're going to the exam. Oh, this is ridiculous, man. So we were briefly considering the soft cap because it, even though it looks so ugly, and in the graduation you actually get to wear your your cap. So yeah. we were like, it's good pictures versus pens, yeah. and we decided on good Gosh. pictures, and that was so good because we don't have in-person exams. So wait, so if you do have in-person exams like this year, you'll have to wear them. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, we don't have gowns and stuff for exams. Exams, yeah, we still keep that. Penny, this was the um, filming location of one scene of Eternals, Wonka's. Yeah, so uh, Eternals was a bit of this as well as um, National History Museum and oh. Wonka's, which was hit theaters in twenty twenty three. You will hopefully see both Martin Street, my Hollywood Street, and uh, the Lab Cam. Oh, so, of Oxford. In oh, I, I love this transition between the. I know. The cobbled yeah. and the... It was so bad because when, like, b- my bus stop is there. Yeah. And when I got my suitcase first, I remember this! <laughs> it was throughout. Because I didn't, I didn't take this entrance. I took the entrance oh, on gosh. the other side. And it's completely cobbled. Oh. So, there's just me lifting all of my bags up like that. Oh. So oh, I can imagine. Yeah, it's really bad. It's really bad. First look at Smithy Street. 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 Smithy <sighs> Not much history there. The Rose Hill is actually uh, relatively recent, and by relatively recent, 1700s. Yeah. So, um, Wait, that is Ro- this is Rose Lane? Yeah, this is all Rose Lane. Oh. So this is the, there. We we'll have the T. S. Eliot Theatre, named after one of our famous graduates. Yeah. Um, when we pass there, we we'll see um, the Tolkien table, which was where Tolkien used to do his um, <laughs> tutorials. Cool. That was Smithy's first year accommodation that area. Supreme, because it was a postgrad accommodation. <laughs> oh my god! At the time, I for was COVID, international uh, requirements. So damn. I had a suite. I had a set. We're now sitting at the Tolkien table. It's a penny where Gerald Tolkien wrote, wrote a bit of his bit of fellowship. Yeah. And where he used to do his tutorials. So he used to get uh. students to sit, not in these benches, but in older stone benches, <laughs> yeah. and they used to sit around, and he'd be on one end, they'd be on another. Uh. His um, garden tutorials is actually used to be very common across Oxford, even till recently. But because of yeah. COVID, they've kind of gone down. Oh, because, that's so nice. Yeah, it seems quite peaceful as well. It's Martin College. <sighs> Welcome to the oldest uh, asterisk uh, college in Oxford. Uh, here you see it looks very unimpressive from um, outside, but inside. Very oh. cool. Very well timed <laughs> um, to go against my commentary, but this is the oldest um, academic library in the Western world. Uh, in the Eastern world, it would probably be in uh, an Islamic state, but wow. this is the most preserved. So even though um, it's it's so funny because the the one the upper section is yeah. close to visitors throughout yeah. the year, except for some tourists in a lot of times. Yeah, but. If you go in, the difference between because the lower library is accessible to us. This is where we actually study. Yeah. And the lower must have existed for the upper to exist, but the lower looks so modern compared to oh. the preserved upper quadrant because the preserved upper quadrant has uh, windows and um, like canvases, yeah. globes, literally from the 1200s. Oh. Like it's been it's been kept there for centuries, and it's 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 such that like. The cloisters, the the wood, the wooden like floor and everything is has been preserved. Oh. So it's really incredible the difference between just walking up those stairs like it's a different world. Mm. And they had to reject many people's uh, questions for filming in that area because oh. it cannot take the weight of a film camera. <laughs> oh my god, uh, that's crazy! So, yeah, it's very 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 old. Ah, oh. these pigeon holes, uh, holes. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much the same. We're at Harry Potter Hall now. This is the staircase that they walk to the <laughs> to the main hall. I don't just for Christchurch. I would not be surprised. Yeah, they actually can speak. Going from there to the darkness of We're now walking towards Somerville College. 
which is the sister college of Girton College. Uh, <laughs> We've been walking for like 10 minutes and Shruti's like, this is already so far. So and I was dead. like, Shruti, are you kidding me? Uh, Apparently, we've left the city center now. I, um, I don't know. I, I, I'm not the expert. <laughs> but I would say that now we look like we're in the town already. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. I don't know what she's going to say if she sees where Girton is. Oh, <laughs> I understand we will get cycles from this place. <laughs> Yeah. I do feel like Cambridge um, roads are more cycle friendly though. Like oh, this is this is really yeah. scary. It looks like London roads. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how people do it. Anyway, we're going to Somerville to watch. Is it called a lecture or just like a talk? Yeah, like it's a talk. I don't think. Talk. I mean, it's not. It's not organized by a department. Yeah, by society, right? Uh, yeah. It's by it's it's like a center. Like so, yeah. it's a research center. So it's by fellows and stuff. So it's, yeah. Um, there's like money involved. Yeah. It's not just like a student stuff. Well, I'm excited to go see Somerville. Oh my god. We are at okay. Somerville. Wow, wow, wow. I have made it in An expedition. Somerville. This is giving me garden vibes. Hmm. Not really too sure yet. I guess it does seem quieter. I don't know. It is quite that. It's, 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 um, yeah, well, I think it's, it's, it's reported to be, like, one of the friendliest. <gasps> one of the friendliest colleges that is just like Garton! Ooh, that. That's what we're going for. Apparently, just like Garton, Somerville was also the first Oxford college to admit women as students. So we love a strong feminist history. Yeah, it's made it like to our destination. Morning. I feel like we didn't have a continuation last evening. Just, like, suddenly <laughs> Sorry, we were supposed to do a chat in the evening, but yeah. then we just had a real chat. Yeah. So not, not YouTube, no Basically, we were just cooking in the kitchen for like one and a half hours, maybe. Oh, yeah. that would it was actually, actually so nice, yeah. yeah. But I feel like it was just such a wholesome like chat and cook session that like yeah. didn't really feel like vlogging anyway. <laughs> yeah, I was just Smithy and I catching up on life and how yeah. term has been. It was actually so nice. And Smithy's such a good cook. I feel like both of us have gone on like cooking yeah, journeys think, since high school because neither yeah, of us really knew how to cook. Yeah. No, but you bake like, I thought you'd be quite good. Yeah, but, but, but it's not like cooking is a science, cooking is an art. Yeah, right? I, I used to, yeah. I, I didn't I really use to cook. Really, yeah. I, think, I think with cooking, if you follow the instructions, yeah. it can be a good science too. Yeah, yeah, anyway, so we had a nice session and then we just chatted again in her room yeah. for a bit and then we watched Hawkeye. Hawkeye yeah. <laughs> the first we were Marvel episode. friends. That was the reason that <laughs> yeah. Shivani is a Marvel fan. That's so true. Smithy is actually the reason why <laughs> I got into Marvel in the first place because me, Smithy, and one of our other friends, um, Nirmala, we formed a close uh, Ma Marvel like, trio. Yeah, Marvel trio. <laughs> And we like binge watched the entire like Marvel series yeah, in the summer before. Everyone else was traveling during the <laughs> COVID leave. We were watching Marvel. <laughs> it was such uh, a good time, but yeah, it felt like the good old days. We missed you though, Nimbla. Uh, <laughs> and this morning, the sun is out. Oh, yesterday was literally the gloomiest day ever. It was ever. quite sad actually. Yeah, like people usually describe day. the UK as gloomy, but yesterday I actually felt yeah. it like. Yeah, I, 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 was, I, I very rarely have days where full on literally. Just um but, yeah i guess one bite side is like since the sun sets at three then you don't really notice it after three and it's just like christmas lights are out yeah so but then yeah. it seems mm, it's pretty motivating because it makes it yeah i get it it makes the days feel short yeah um yeah i guess <laughs> after the talk at summer was it was it like 7 p.m yeah so then i felt like it was 10 p.m we're like ready yeah, to go to bed i know i was at 9:30. <laughs> we were like dead it was so sad we're really yeah. not living the 18 year old last time i know um, but what's nice is wholesome. One good thing is that yesterday, because it was slightly gloomy, you couldn't see too many people out. So That's so true. Colleges and things were fine. Yeah, yeah. We're now trying to figure out what are the best photo angles for the rad cam. Yeah. Because we want to do our photo session, or do my photo session yeah. when the give, sun is out. Yeah, I want to give Shivani a better picture than what I got. <laughs> which is just like breaking COVID rules, everyone in masks, my household just being very quirky, having only each other for two days. So, uh, they were really so. cute photos though. Uh, I think, I think for the times, you guys managed to get really cute photos. True. And I've dressed up in my Cambridge merch, being a criminal at the other place. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, there's the rad nice, cam. Yeah. This is quite beautiful. beautiful. Oh, like one of my favorite walks. Actually, oh, it's so nice in the sun. <laughs> yeah. It looks much better. Than, I think everything in Oxford is much better in the sun. I think that's just everything in the UK generally. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Also, it's called the City of Dreaming Spires. Oh. It, just, it looks good at night and it looks good in the sun. And in the rain, it's just the 
<laughs> the snow is also quite beautiful. Yeah, though. yeah. That's kind of true. Beautiful. Yeah. 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 There's a cat. Oh. Hello. Hey. Oh, his eyes. Hello. Oh my god. Hello. Oh. Guys, I feel like we have Loki trespassed. I don't know what that's called. No. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. Felt a bit. Felt a bit. Like. like like we didn't have to put the fob anywhere on the way to I know that's true. Anything. But I feel like we just walked anyway. It was quite exhilarating, but we, we managed to find with confidence. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we managed to find a student who let us think to this actually allowed because I I have yeah. tutorials. Uh, oh, next this term. is such a stunning view, guys! Look at that. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> this is stunning Swedes. Which college is this? Oh, okay, this is Exeter College. Stunning view oh, of the room. Oh. In front of the oh, this is such a nice, like, seating area to just sit and, like, see the yeah. see the view of all of this. It looks so nice in the sun. This is the view from the seating bench. Oh. It's a little cutie hidden there. Oh. We were just down there and we somehow figured out a way to come here. It's an exit. I thought it was like available to everyone, but tourists are apparently entering. At least I'm allowed to enter. I don't know if yeah. the tourists are allowed to enter. But, but uh, it is a really beautiful vantage point. It. Very nice. Success story. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So, do you have any commentary about ISIS? Oh, I have no commentary on that. It's so bad. I, we do have, we I'll have some commentary when we get to the boat houses. You see in the distance, we oh, have nice, nice, a yeah. row of boat houses, which is where all of our uh, rowing starts from. So we recently had the Christchurch regatta. Ah. Um, uh, where uh, basically it was uh, essentially novices yeah. trying out uh, rowing for the first time. Yeah. Um, like a big competition. Yeah. And they go along here, and this is quite a nice stretch because it's relatively wide. Yeah, um, and like I guess all the audience can kind of follow them along on the by the banks, right? Kind of, but nobody can run that fast. Uh, <laughs> People uh, cycle for us. Yeah, we like do, with the our coaches cycle. The ah uh, uh, yeah 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 yeah. Don't cycle. yeah yeah same same same. Uh, Oh, look at them coming. Oh. <laughs> and Oxford, one interesting thing about Oxford uh, racing or... Oh, we do have, uh, this is a quick promotion. If you are interested, <laughs> follow the Ox Duck page, where uh, pictures of ducks across Oxford are put. So that's one thing to motivate yourself through your degree sometimes, you know. Uh, We're currently walking along the river I Isis? Yes. Isis. Looking at Isis those, is just a section of the page. Look at those rowers. Okay. Yeah, that's oh, beautiful. We have and a lot of, on the almost boat all of these will be shared. So if you see one building, yeah, yeah, yeah. it'll be two colleges. Yeah, pretty much same. Uh, but yeah, it's a beautiful viewing deck, actually. It gets very cold. They honestly <laughs> look like such. They do give like yacht party vibes. Right. It looks because like a little tiny. Have, I mean, when we have races, everyone has their like colors on. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the enthusiasm is so high. Yeah. Like it's one of those things I thought was very elite, but then you come here, it's. It's like normal. When, like America prizes as like the like rugby slash football. Yeah, yeah. It's rowing in yeah, Oxbridge. Yeah, that's so and it's just such a community thing, and it's so yeah. beautiful. Of course, it also means that if you're in the team, that you're waking up at five thirty a.m. and honestly, I think you wake up at like four to get ready, and then by the oh, time yeah. the race starts, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Warm All up my rowing friends have insane time management skills because honestly, you have to you have to get ready at four, and then you finish at eight thirty. Yeah, and then and then uh, like I don't know if you're like if you have morning yeah. lectures, you have to be at the lecture by like nine yeah. or whatever. And you're still training. You're like the yeah. actual going doesn't even count as your physical body training. <laughs> it's quite uh, quite an intense. Oh, uh, look at them getting into their boats. Yeah. Oh, it's such a nice day. This ah oh, beautiful. We're trying to admire and decipher the graffiti on the under the bridge. <laughs> if Lee Gym, which is apparently the university gym. Yeah. Humongous, huge tennis courts, sports fields, 
Yeah. So if you ever come to Oxford for like a varsity match or something, it's quite cool because there are a lot of authors who have like uh, taken inspiration from the like foliage. Aww. It's quite cool. Very nice. Oh, this is a Cheshire cat. He had a real Cheshire cat. Wow. I didn't know that. There's the cat. Up there in the tree. <laughs> that is so crazy. About, uh, you know. First look at Martin Fall. Oh, beautiful. Yay! That's a vegan option. Having lunch. <laughs> it's a really nice little banner here. We're now inside Magdalen College, Oxford. Beautiful. It's, it's really big for being a quite central college. Oh, so apparently that's a deer park. We have found the deer. Oh. Have you been to Richmond Park in London? No, but it I, is I, I so nice. Apparently the first peacock in the UK was brought to Magdalen College. Right now, because. I mean, this is quite tragic, but uh, um, I apologize to all vegans, vegetarians, etc. But um, modern had a history of keeping deer and uh, roosters and peacocks, not not just for the aesthetics. Yeah. Uh, which I mean, of course, the aesthetics would be bad enough. But uh, yeah, yeah, apparently the founder, or something of modern, was very fond of peacock meat, oh. so they would breed peacocks. But so <laughs> funnily, uh, that I think they had to stop because. The peacocks are very loud when they reproduce. Oh, uh, so for Ooh. the yeah, it's kind of your students get to get. Well, that's very nice because this is where you punt. This is a really nice punting space. Wait, so what river is this? Oh, why are they yelling? Good question. Good question. I want to say it's the Thames, but oh, that is really nice. To be fair, even the modeling at Cambridge is just by the riverside. So yes, yeah, similar, similar names. Is all of that also part of Maudlin? Yeah, it's okay. Oh, wow. Uh, is, yeah. Wow. Another really pretty walking route. Allison's Walk, somewhere yeah. it is. Uh, there's this, like, little poem by C.S. Lewis. Who's C.S. Lewis? Uh, he wrote Narnia, the Chronicles oh. of Narnia. Uh, oh, it's a little poem by him. Winds will not trip the blossom from the apple trees. This year, <laughs> no one grain is the trees. Oh. Very, very cool, very uh, interesting kind of ideas that come into um, like what your sense of good is mm. and like what your sense of safe environment is because yeah Lewis wrote extensively like you can do Narnia tours of Oxford because oh. there's so much inspired from like about this paradise from yeah. how Oxford is that's so nice come to Oxford guys <laughs> <laughs> Smith I honestly think you can lead walking tours <laughs> guys if you think Smith should lead Walking tours. Drop a comment Go down below. below. <laughs> <laughs> These fundraisers. <laughs> We're at Blackwell's now. <laughs> What is this room? Uh, the Narrington room. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that's really nice. Yeah. Oh, it's really nice. So homely and yeah, all the time. It would existed at the university at that time, really in our mind, uh, would be a question. Kitty and I are now on this free walking tour, and it's off to a great start. It's for two hours? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Would recommend. I recommend. In like the first 10 minutes, it's already so good. But yeah, our guide seems to be really cool. And Let's see to be fair, the turnout is larger than I anticipated. Well, this runs all the time, but there's so many tourists here that I well, I, I knew about the store just because I've recognized people from yeah, this. Yeah, it's crazy. But yeah, really excited now. So the focus of the is Divinity School. Now, Divinity School, as I said, is the first purpose-built lecture at Oxford University. Uh, we start building it in 1457, but we don't finish until 1488. This over here is a uh, very important uh, door at, uh, at Oxford. It looks like just any normal door, but we have the two golden fords on the side here. Uh, this would be, this fort would be Mr. Tomnus. And then in the center of the door, uh, you can see we have carved out Osman Aslan. Now, these would be characters in uh, 
C.S. Lewis Chronicles of Narnia. And C.S. Lewis was here at Oxford at the same time teaching English as uh, Tolkien was. And at one point, you could come to Oxford, uh, you could study English, and on Monday, you'd be taught by C.S. Lewis, and on Wednesday, you'd be taught by Tolkien. So the radio. We are now in Flying Tiger, one of my favorite stories in the UK. I'm introducing Smithy to this wild and crazy world of things. Necessary, yeah. <laughs> apparently. Lol. Oh my god, there's so many toilet stuff. We just spent the past five minutes trying to do one of these puzzles. It was pretty funny, actually. That's the one we did. Good morning, guys. 5.20 in the morning. Smithy has been kind enough to come and drop me off at my coach stop. Uh, yeah, otherwise, you'd have to like <laughs> freeze your hands as you look to do with that sort of phone. It's uh, so true. Yeah, I don't think that's worth it, honestly. It's so cold and dark and early. Um, anyway, any concluding thoughts? So it's... It was nice to have you over. Uh, um, these I, formalities. I realized not only that uh, Cambridge, his whole concept is stolen by Oxford, but also <laughs> that Oxford apparently has serious ego problems, <laughs> and so they have also stolen things from Cambridge. And so you can explore your own university relationships, and if not your universities, then your own family relationships, and you'll find a very similar, similar issue to what we discovered yesterday. <laughs> In our, in our walk through the city. Yeah, I feel like the walking tour is such an eye opener. That's well, so nice. You yeah. guys should come. Definitely highly recommend footprints tours. They're mm -hmm. in Cambridge as well. Yeah, and in New York and London apparently. Yeah, yeah, they're everywhere. Yeah. And if you want not to go with someone uh, affiliated with a larger group, you can come and I can show you yeah, around. Hit up Smithy everyone. Uh, Merton for, College. For a low fee of uh, my university <laughs> <laughs> my university continuation. <laughs> you can come and get a in depth to oh. Oxford, please come. <laughs> Fun uh, education. Yeah, thanks for having me, Smith. Such a nice two nights. Yeah. Come for longer next time. I will. I really hope I get to see you on, show you around Cambridge sometime soon. Bye, guys. Don't forget to. Sorry. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> and share this video with anyone who you think might enjoy it. Yeah. So, just about Oxford and Cambridge. For anyone who, like, you know, wants to have fun in the university. Who's really feeling like, because I at the end of the term, I also feel like I'm losing energy. I mm. don't really know what I'm doing this for. And, like I just don't have the motivation to go on for another year. Yeah. And sometimes just like exploring the city and learning things about it helps you romanticize the idea of living here. That's so true. So like if you're <coughs> particularly if you're in the city that you brought it, so difficult to feel like you're at home. And and like my solution is to like do it as an extended vacation. Mm. So the more that you're doing things for yourself here, yeah, the the just more comfortable you feel. Yeah, you, yeah more you familiar can with everything. Look around and see like, wow, this is so cool. So yeah. many people have walked these paths before me. Yeah, it's so really worth it. I can stay strong. Yeah. Bye, Smithy. <laughs>